If you have Bibles, go ahead and turn to Proverbs chapter 15. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 20. Real quick, I promise. All right. Verse 28. The heart of the righteous studieth to answer, but the mouth of the wicked poureth out evil things. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. The light of the eyes rejoices the heart, rejoices the heart, and a good report maketh the bones fat. The ear that heareth the proof of life abideth among the wise. He that, re he that refuseth instruction despiseth his own soul. But he that heareth reproof getteth understanding. So, I'm just going to tell you a quick story. Um, I had a buddy that I used to witness to that I would work with on the weekends. Uh, I don't get to work on that. Uh, tripped anymore, but uh, I got to witness to him, and he told me he, at one point, keep in mind that his father in law is a preacher in a uh, church in Springfield, but he told me he couldn't believe in a God or serve a God that uh, people fear him. That, And I'm thinking that he's talking about the things that God does that we could be fearful of. I mean, Lot's wife got turned to a pillar of salt. Everybody knows what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. I mean, it's, these are fearful things. But when you get your heart right with Lord, and He'll bring you the knowledge and wisdom that comes with being saved. So, uh, what the, oh, excuse me, I didn't read thirty-three. I meant to. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. And it's the instruction of wisdom that's the, the big key thing there. Um, he wants to give you that wisdom, but you have to have that humble servant's heart. Because if you come to him, or if you have that prideful heart, you're not going to come to him at all. But when you have that servant's heart, he'll give you what you need. So... Like I said, this would be a very quick thing. Um, so my question for you today is, are you taking the approach with the, the, old, the problem that you have in your life, are you taking the approach with the servant's heart where you need to come to Jesus with it? Or are you being more of a, no, or, uh, a Jonah today and refusing the instruction that he's trying to give you and just going your own way with it? So just keep that in mind as we continue through this week. But... That's my quick talk for today. Um, is there a little one that wants to pray us in Sunday school? You want to pray? Go ahead. Amen. Amen. Amen.